just wanted to do a little update of my uh, Defender 90 body that I mounted on my SCX-10 well it was a honcho chassis and then it was shortened to a dingo chassis and now it's been shortened even more to fit the haunt or to fit the Defender D90 body so it's been evolving for quite some time on one of my little tour ups I like making these little scale tour ups to go inside of my stuff anyway I'll give you a little walk around got the proline bumper on it didn't put lights in it this is one of those little uh, key little what do you call it little keychain retractable things well, I mounted that inside of there doesn't really do much it doesn't really pull but you know I don't really want to buy a winch I think they're a waste of money for what they do but anyway I don't care about that there's the inside of it let me get a little light on the subject got my little shotgun in there got all my gear in the back like I said in a previous video, if somebody wants to see how I mounted this body on here, I will show you. I've got a dirt bike that goes on the back. A Proline rear bumper. I'm still waiting for the windshield roll cage for it. My new wheels and tires, which are coming from RC4WD, they're just taking forever. It's been, well, three weeks now. But... I scraped all the chrome off of some of the accessories like the gas cap, door handles, around the edges of some of the chrome, just to make it look a little bit better. Put some uh, stickers in behind the grill so it looks like there's a rad back there. Yeah, that's the old style of mounting your SCX-10 bodies. I just found it easier to do it that way. Back one is a little trickier. A little piece of angle aluminum, hole drilled through it, mounted in there. It's got the, what do you call it, I think it's 3500 KV brushless uh, Traxxas motor. Works pretty good on this thing. It's geared down with the 87 uh, spur, spur gear and a uh, 21, or sorry, sorry, not 21, uh, 14 pinion. Plus, it's, it's got the speed, heavy duty bevel gears inside of the, tra the diffs, uh, metal gears in the tranny. Uh, I can't remember what kind of servo it is. Oh, it's a high tech, but heavy duty, all steel. Um, yeah, it's not really running, running yet. Still, like I said, I'm still waiting for parts. Interior is not glued in yet because I have to glue my whole tray in there because the way I did it because it doesn't fit as you can see it's been hacked out big aluminum plate in there but uh, yeah just waiting for my roll cage for my windshield the wheels and tires I'll show you when they come all right have fun guys enjoy